yeah, so this is my this is my little death world mall. I got I got this weird thing. I got this kind of split of business here that I quite like. Um, I thought I'd first of all practice mirroring the base because this is this is a thing that's going to have to happen at some point. Um, but also do a little bit of a chat about the high level strategic differences between how I'm approaching death world and basically the Nephrim's anti default settings strategy, which is pretty much the gold standard of how to get a rocket up. On a normal map, like you want to know how how to do it well, you you look at you look at the world record default settings build, and the the two main differences for people that don't have you know four or five hours to sit through a death world run, uh, I'm planning on going slower and I'm planning on building less. So I've stolen a lot, stolen, loaned, lifted. I've lifted a lot of tech from anti nephrims and the various people they've lifted speedrun tech from because, you know, that's how communities work. Um, but there is still some, like, everything else is getting mostly replanned for this and there's still some twist on other things that I'm going to throw in. Um, but yeah, the, 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 the two main principles of expect to go slower because it's a death world, so I'm going to spend more time pushing, I'm going to spend more time defending, I'm going to have to rebuild some stuff, the pushing itself will take longer because the bases will be larger, um, I'll have to divert resources in the early game to turrets and bullets and all that kind of stuff and prioritize grenades and all those kinds of things. Um, so number one, expect to go slower. Number two, because I'm going slower, pollute less, which means basically fewer buffers less pollution on the map, giving away less evo, being able to push more without giving a while, while still on small biters. And yeah, I'm gonna do a couple of small videos on like the the fragments that are the most different between what I'm doing for Death World and how default settings work. So like the first obvious one is I'm doing fewer labs, because I just expect Death World to take longer. I'm doing eight each of red and green and then later I do 12 blue and then I extend red and green to 12 and then I also end up doing 12 purple and yellow which are weird numbers like having the same number of every color of lab is just weird but that's a different video um, so, so first off, fewer labs second of all, I've built the green signs but there's no, there's no steel default settings, I th think, usually build steel here and it will build a full lane of copper whereas I don't even think that I don't even think that this lane here for me, necessarily needs to happen before all of the green signs. I think this could happen later, and the, the general point being I will mine less, put less pollution on the map. I don't even plan on this copper buffer here being particularly big. Like, I might even put down only 12 or so copper miners. Yeah, so this isn't even a full lane. So by the time these guys get up to tier 2 assemblers, and also the red science usage. There's not going to be much going in here at all. And I think one of the ideas was was be building up this buffer while these guys are tier one, and then when these upgrade to tier two, plan it so this buffer empties. Just because I don't need to be, I, I have more time to gather more copper that I need. Um. So yeah. So this is this first lane is only ever a half lane of copper. Um. And then. I wouldn't even bother mining the rest of the copper until just before blue circuits, or just before blue science when I needed a lot more copper for the red circuits, and then, so I won't have a buffer until I unload, I'll just go mine it, and that will mean that there will be hopefully less pollution on the map, and then, yeah, much smaller burner city phase than everyone else, than everyone else, than, than, the, than the death world, than the default settings strategies, and this is, like a when I take the space over to default settings, it's going to do worse than the default settings builds. But I think it's going to do, for me, better in Death World. Because Death World's already slower, and I'm just planning a base around expecting things to be slower, and then making the combat easier in the early phase. And, and then the end phase mix build, yeah, do all that fast, because you've got bots there, and do all that as fast as you can. But, yeah, I think there'll be a couple of other videos on, on the other particular small things that I do differently, like lab counts, the rocket fuel is going to get a video, burner miners versus electric miners, that is going to get another little short video, but they will basically all fall into the category of, I'm expecting to go slower, and I want to pollute less. And yeah, Death World, we're going to do more of these.